what's going on guys welcome back to another video so i'm just filming this for an update um update on the car update on what's going on in my life just let you guys know so i don't ghost you guys but lately um it's been pretty busy uh, i haven't worked on the car as much as i would have liked and some of you maybe know this but most i'm assuming you don't so i commercial fish in alaska and it's a seasonal job so in january on january 18th in two days I'm going to be leaving and I'm going to go to Dutch Harbor, Alaska, where I'll be commercial fishing. And then I'll be back late March, early April. So that whole time I'm going to be in Alaska, not very good internet. And I will not be working on the car, obviously, because it's here. So that's a bummer, but that's just how it goes. So I wanted to let you guys know that. Um, the build will still be happening. In the past couple weeks, I have still been working on the car. Not, not quite as much, but... I have filmed, I just haven't filmed big enough videos to where I can post it and make it one video. So in this video I kind of wanted to just put together a bunch of random clips that I had. The subframe is back in the car, we pulled the trans and the tranny is back in the car, stage 3 clutch is in, the manifold is on, the front end is cut out so the intercooler will fit, the valve cover is back on the car, all the new spark plugs and ignition system is in. I just received the new exhaust today, and I still haven't opened it. I'm super excited to do that. So a lot's happened on the car, basically, and this video is just going to be showing you guys what has happened over the past couple weeks. I'm planning on actually filming some videos up there. I don't know if anybody would be interested in commercial fishing content, but if I could make it, I think it would be pretty cool. Just so some of you, I, some of you guys can see it because it might be interesting. So let me know in the comments if you want to see any of that. But let's get right into this video so you guys can, so you guys can see what's been happening. Spencer took apart the manifold and heat wrapped it. Turned out super good. We got this freeze plug in right here. It's, you hammer it in. This one up here. We got in. There's one up there, and then this um, oil return for the turbo in. Um, then Spencer spent super long and wrapped these manifolds with this heat wrap out of the car. And then we tried to install them, and it didn't fit because it was just, there's, they fit so close together, there wasn't enough room. So taking all the heat wrap off, installing the manifolds, and then re-wrapping them so no so that's awesome that they did that next we're going to install this piece that goes up to the turbo and then wrap that gonna get some clickbait That's gonna be good. I got your ass. <laughs> what happened was I was backing the snow off and it just jammed, it just stopped. So something got stuck in the threads and we ended up needing to use a lot of fire and WD-40 to get it off and that's why there was a lot of smoke. But we finally got it off. Now we just need to get a tap and die set to fix it. Um, it'll be good. For what part? For the coolant, the injector tool, and... That subframe is finally in. <laughs> Got the wastegates in. Um, motor mounts. Yeah, motor mounts are in.
This is JB4. All these connectors here intercept all the factory signals from engine to computer or to OBD2. Engine computer is right in here. What that will allow you to do with this Bluetooth is you can go in and basically tune the car with your phone. This is your JB4 port injection controller. What this does is this ties into the JB4 and the factory computer so it knows what signals to send to the fuel injectors. Sweet. We're running out of time. me clean up all tucked away for the for the winter it's sad tried to clean up as much as we could for the circumstances the trunk the whole car is full of parts to it and shoes Yes. Waiting for her new home. I think we're good too. And I don't know what happened, but look at this. I don't have any of these clips. It's all just audio. All just they're all audio now. And this is all audio. Those are all footage and clips of me working on the car and I'm not exactly sure what happened in the import or or what, but I don't have any of those clips now, so I apologize. This video is gonna be a lot worse now because half of my clips are gone, but hopefully I can make something out of it. That's just gonna have to be it. I'm sorry guys, I for some reason I can't get these clips back, so I don't know what I'm and I don't know what I'm gonna do, so I put together what I could and hopefully you're able to enjoy it or get something out of it, but Next time I see you guys, I'll be in Alaska, so thanks for watching. Bye.